back with a uh, another movie review for you guys um, i did the kiss the ground review gosh it's been a while now i don't know if it was a i've been over a year i don't remember the time frame but i did the kiss the ground review after i watched it so now i'm here with another one now i will go ahead and tell you immediately i was i really liked the one i'm about to talk about not to say I like, hated Kiss the Ground, but if you watched the other review, I was very critical of Kiss the Ground. I think it... Well, I'm not going to get on the rant about Kiss the Ground. You can go watch the review uh, for it. I'll put a link in here for it. Um, but the one I just recently watched, and it just came a toad strangler rain out here, so I'm walking through mud and water. But... Um, I just watched The Biggest Little Farm. Now, I had had multiple people recommend that I watch this movie because they were like, man, it's really, really fascinating and we're really curious what your thoughts are as a full-time farmer. Now, I farm different than they do in that. I am a row crop, full-time row crop farmer in West Tennessee. <clears throat> and I'm 90... 90% no-till so no tillage it's the simple way of explaining that I don't disturb the soil on 90% of the ground unless we just have to so a minimal tillage approach you know if you rut up a field or uh, you know the ground is really compact and you got to bust the hard pan that's whenever we're doing performing some of the tillage but say all that to say the biggest little farm is obviously a very different style of farming. Now, it's it's one that I am really, really intrigued by and find myself, I would honestly say I find myself being pulled more towards this regenerative ag thing. I think it's really a cool thing just from the standpoint of, is it a good movie? Is it enjoyable, entertaining, and watchable? 10 out of 10, great entertaining film i love the progression of the story my wife and my kids watched it with me and they they all really enjoyed the movie and um obviously i'm gonna be a little more in tune trying to listen as their practices and stuff but from a strictly movie standpoint it's a really entertaining movie i feel like you are sucked into the story and there's a lot of conflict and so it's a great movie. It's very entertaining. Uh, I would say really anybody could watch The Biggest Little Farm, probably enjoy the movie. So from a storytelling, cool scenery, uh, sucks you in kind of movie, The Biggest Little Farm is solid. Now, from a farming standpoint, one of my biggest issues, I will share this, one of my biggest issues with Kiss the Ground, I felt like was they posed a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to you in the regen world, but they really didn't explain how to do these things. Like they had celebrities pushing them. That was one of my gripes. You know, I was like, I wish they'd have had more farmers and less celebrities. So like, I really don't care about what. <laughs> And some people thought I was mean on that, but I'm really not worried about a celebrity's opinions on it. Unless they're relying on this farm to, to really sustain them, um, and it's something they truly pour their heart and soul into, I honestly don't care whether or not you're a celebrity. I want to know if you're a farmer in the grind doing it. The biggest little farm, that is exactly what these people are. Uh, their farm at this point, Apricot Lane Farms, uh, apricot apricot however you call it but uh they're essentially reaching a celebrity status but it no long it does not in any way take away from their story because they truly are in the grind and this this story is their progression of wanting to have a farm <clears throat> wanting to grow grow their crops and wanting to be able to sustain and feed their family and friends and all these things. And it's them bringing it to fruition. And it was, I mean, it was fascinating is the, the best word for it. I got a little audience back here behind me. 
getting wet it's raining but uh so this is some of the stuff they talk about in the film you see the cow crap everywhere around here i'm in a pasture back here hopefully you can see everything good because it is raining but uh some of the elements that i loved on the biggest little farm is when they showed how it all tied in like they they had a conflict presented um you know as they would enhance this thing then it would create this problem here like you know bugs were an issue and, or snails and things like that and and they would they would struggle and then it was like they almost accidentally discovered the solution because they have the mentor uh that helps them in the show and he kind of guides them into this regen egg thing because it is a very confusing thing you know if there's with my review of kiss the ground i had the people that were like you should be in doing at regen ag and like get after you well i'm gonna be straight up with you it's actually more confusing than conventional row-till crop is you know i mean there's a lot that goes into farming as a whole um despite what some people say not just any old dummy can go become a farmer you need to understand your different crops like your hybrids your different varieties of seeds i mean there's there's thousands of different varieties of beans of soybeans like there's you know there's three series there's four series five series these are your maturity groups so there's a ton of stuff in there well then how do you fertilize what do you and and this is on the row crop conventional side so and it's not so easy as just say well you should put a flock of chickens or a, a herd of cattle on this place and let them fertilize it let me see you do that on a scale large enough to to live off of because at the end of the day you do have to make a living and that's where people get a little skewed on what is actually something that can be done and sustained so it's really fascinating is the word that i would use most of all to describe the biggest little farm because it was fascinating like kiss the ground did perk me up to this regen ag thing so from that standpoint i guess they did a good job but the biggest little farm now it's like okay it's showing me how you implement a lot of these things and then how even the wildlife you kind of balance it out and they all work together with it um so i was a fan i'm a big fan of the biggest little farm first time seeing it these cows are not too sure what i'm doing here they're like man what's this guy doing a review video of this he needs to get out of here um so really appreciate that I'm trying to think of any other aspects i'm trying to think of any negatives um you know i think i would have liked to have seen if they do more ground crops they did a lot of they had orchards and trees and they had cover crop in them and they would have the the animals come in and graze and eat in there i mean they're pooping in there and that's uh that is fertilizer essentially um that honestly there's not if they grew anything like i don't like strawberries for instance it's a ground growing crop i would have liked to have seen how how do they control the weed and bug pressure on those because you can't just graze strawberries because your goats or sheep or whatever is going to eat the strawberry plants as well so that would have been something i'd like to see but i do not fault them because they've got like 200 different plant fruit tree species or something on this place so i mean honestly they probably couldn't put every ounce of that into the film because they did have to condense this to an hour and a half and they're essentially condensing like i don't remember 10 years or something of time down to an hour and a half and uh so I'd, i honestly have no gripe with this film i thought it was great um they answered pretty much any of the questions presented um i'm actually i hope to get to talk to them I'm, i've reached out to them uh i want to talk to them like i've started implementing cover crop into my own ground um yeah it's i i'm it's it's really intrigued me um i'm i'm trying to make the push 
more into this regen ag you know i'll be honest i don't want to get into the livestock arena as heavily as they are i mean if you watch the movie you know they have to try to figure out okay how do we balance out our chickens are getting slaughtered by coyotes me watching it i was like you just kill them just kill the coyotes they were i'll give them huge kudos here because they did not want to do that and then ultimately by the end of the movie you're like wow you know because they end up even getting the coyotes to work together with their operation uh and that's through the gopher and stuff eradication essentially so it all does mold into this very regenerative process so i learned i learned from the movie so um i would highly recommend it i don't think you go wrong with it um if you're torn between kiss the ground or biggest little farm absolutely watch biggest little farm I'm sorry i'm i'm just i'm not a fan of kiss the ground guys i i mean i guess i'm being a hater on it i like that we're trying to show more ag stuff but i just just watch biggest little farm guys that's really that's really my take on biggest little farm it's rock solid really liked it i liked the family that's in it uh, like i said hoping to talk to them love to get them on my, my living fully loaded podcast maybe even get them on the the ag podcast too called talk dirt to me shameless plug by the way um but guys if you watch this you like this review please hit the like button hit the subscribe and uh share it share it with your friends and i do encourage you check out biggest little farm i watched it on youtube i had to rent it i don't know if there's anywhere you can watch it free but it's definitely worth the three or four dollars that i spent to rent it on youtube so check it out subscribe to the channel shoot me a comment below let me know let me know what you thought if you watched it did you like it did you hate it did you think it was dumb has it intrigued you uh let me know what you think if there's some that i haven't heard of let me know in the comments a movie you'd like for me to check out uh, from a farming standpoint and give you a review on guys thank you i'm walking up this hill in this pasture getting me a little little winded while talking here um guys appreciate you tuning in and hope you have an awesome one